fifth Sunday in Ordinary Time, Christ who makes us free to serve. Today, we reflect upon the Christian values of compassion, service, and prayer. Even as Job expresses the fears and limits set upon his life, which prevent him from fruitful service, St. Paul reminds us that our service to others should be without any expectation of any gain. Jesus is the great healer who puts compassion before law and casts out demon even though it is Sabbath. During this Eucharistic celebration, let us pray for the grace to always remain connected to God our Father through prayer and to treat everyone with compassion and in a spirit of service. Rejoice evermore, for this is the will of God. Rejoice evermore, for this is the will of God. Rejoice evermore, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. Concerning you, sing hallelujah to the Lord our God. Enter His courts with songs of praise. Sing hallelujah to the Lord our God. Enter His courts with songs of praise. This mass is offered for the parish intentions, souls of Clara. Saldana, William, Matthew, Trevor and Lena Fernandez and family, Alex and Jan, Joseph and Helen, descended members of Pinto family, Andred and uh, their family, Month's Mind Mass of Father Philip Lobo, first death anniversary of IX Anthony, Thanksgiving Mass in honor of to Infant Jesus, Holy Family, Our Lady of Perpetual Succor, St. Jude, Our Lady of Mercy, all the blessings received for granting good health to Sujata, Zonal Feast Mass, Thanksgiving Mass to St. Gonzalo Gracia, offered by Community Number 12, Patron Feast. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery. We all say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, you ask, blessed, very a virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy.
Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with your care, relying solely on hope of heavenly grace. They may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. The first reading, a reading from the book of Job. Job spoke, saying, Has not a man a hard service on earth? And are not his days like the days of a hired hand? Like a slave who longs for the shadow, and like a hired hand who looks for his wages. So, I am allotted months of emptiness, and nights of misery are proportioned to me. When I lie down, I say, When shall I arise? But the night is long, and I am full of tossing till the dawn. My days are swifter than a weaver's shuttle, and come to their end without hope. Remember that my life is a breath. My eye will never again see good. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be God. Our response, praise the Lord who heals the brokenhearted. Praise the Lord who heals the brokenhearted. How good to sing psalms to our God. How pleasant to chant fitting praise. The Lord builds up Jerusalem and brings back Israel's exiles. A response, praise the Lord who heals the brokenhearted. He heals the brokenhearted. He binds up all their wounds. He counts out the number of stars. He calls each one by its name. A response, Praise the Lord who heals the brokenhearted. Our Lord is great and almighty. His wisdom can never be measured. The Lord lifts up the lowly. He casts down the wicked to the ground. Your response? Praise the Lord who heals the brokenhearted. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brethren, if I preach the gospel, that gives me no ground for boasting, for necessity is laid upon me. Woe to me if I do not preach the gospel. For if I do this of my own will, I have a reward. But if not of my own will, I am still entrusted with a stewardship. What then is my reward? that in my preaching I may present the gospel free of charge, so as not to make full use of my right in the gospel. For though I am free from all, I have made myself a servant to all, that I might win more of them, to the weak I became weak, 
that I might win the week. I have become all things to all people, that by all means I might save some. I do it all for the sake of the gospel, that I may share with them in its blessings. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Kindly stand for the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Christ took our illnesses and bore our diseases. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. At that time, Jesus left the synagogue and entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Now Simon's mother-in-law lay ill with fever, and immediately they told him about her. And he came and took her by the hand and lifted her up, and the fever left her, and she began to serve him. That evening at sunset, they brought to him all who were sick, oppressed by demon, and the whole city was gathered together at the door, and he healed many who were sick with various disease, and cast out many demons, and he would not permit the demons to speak, because they knew him, and rising every Early in the morning, while it was still dark, he departed and went out to isolated place, and there he played, he prayed. And Simon and those who were with him searched for him, and they found him and said to him, Everyone is looking for you, he said to them. Let us go on to the next town, that I may preach theirs also, for that is what I came for. And he went throughout all Galilee, preaching in the synagogues and casting out demons. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to your Lord Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, in this uh, modern contemporary culture force us to be busy. And if you ask anyone and they will say, I am busy. Now, if you notice, what are we busy with? We are busy with checking our emails. We are busy working. We are busy texting. We are busy uh, uh, online streaming, watching. We are busy uh, talking on phone. And our life has become busy. We actually planning how to be busy in life. And if you ask then, uh, how are you busy person? And your answer will be, yes, I am. So how do you feel about your busyness? Do you feel that you are restless? Or do you feel, are you engaged? Now there are two different things, restless and being engaged. Today's gospel, we have a clear indication where Jesus Christ and his full entire schedule of day, busy schedule of day. We see how Jesus, from what last Sunday we heard about the gospel, he entered in temple, in synagogue, and he started preaching. And everyone was amazed. He healed one person who was sick, who was possessed by demon. And as he came out, today's gospel began, we entered to Simon Peter's house and he came to know his mother-in-law is not well. So he rushed and healed her there itself where he had his meal, his dinner. And then entire village gathered again because they had seen in synagogues what happened. So now entire village, villagers came together and meet Jesus where he was healing them. He was praying with them. Now if you notice, um, 
Kapurnam, the village name Kapurnam was about 1,500 people. Now, if all people gathered over there, according to gospel is mentioned, it means we do not know how long Jesus spent that night. We do not know whether he was full night awake. We do not know. But what is mentioned in the gospel? Early in the morning, he woke up and he went to a lonely place to pray. Where Simon and his friend came in search and when he found, he said, everyone is looking for you. What did Jesus say? Jesus said, let us go to another village, another town where we can preach. That is what I have come for. So, this is what we are talking about. Is he busy? Yes. But is he restless? I don't think so. We see now in first reading, uh, example of restlessness. Uh, Job being a person who was uh, lying on the bed and he was counting each and every minute. And he was telling how this day is going slow, how this time is going slow, when the evening is going to come and when night and when will the next day arise. And he was counting in each and every moment. His lamentation of Job, we hear in the, uh, in the reading, where he is not sad or grief because he has lost his family members. He is not sad because he has lost his uh, friend. He is not, not sad because he has lost wealth. He is not even sad because he has uh, illness. He has nothing externally, but within, inside, he has that turmoil. He doesn't have that peace, inner peace, and he was searching for that inner peace. He was restless. My dear brothers and sisters, we have two examples of Jesus. Engaged, busy with work, and second is restless. The two important things, my dear brothers and sisters, where we need to examine. How does Jesus handle his busy schedule? Let us give, me, give you all three points. The first point, we need to elaborate and we need to focus. First point, he is engaged in enhancing the life of people around. Now, what is his work? He is with people. The first intention, his work is to reach out to all those. He is sacrificing his time, being with them, casting demons, healing them, spending time, talking, preaching. He is with people. If you say that you are busy and you are reaching out to others, helping others, helping poor people, reaching out, and that makes sense. You are trying to be Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ exactly did the same thing. He was with people, reaching out and giving importance to all equally. Now, maybe probably you might be a driver, you might be a garage, working in a garage, you might be uh, working in the office, you might be having your own business. Most important thing is that we all are busy, but how do I use this busyness? Do I reach out to my fellow brothers, my workers who's working in the office, my business, wherever I am? Do I treat them equally? Because Jesus did exactly, he was treating everyone equally. Second point, my dear brothers and sisters, is seeking popularity or inner gratification. Now, most of us, we see they are busy. They are busy in the church work or they are busy in the community or they are busy in society or they are busy in workplace. But if they are inner or they have a so-called motive or goal, that to have a gratification, to get the gratification, to get that applause, what you are doing, everybody should recognize and should thank me. If you have this agenda, then you are not a person who is working or rather being a Jesus Christ. You have, have that self-glory and the moment you do not get that slave self-glory, the moment you are working hard for the community or in the church or do not recognize your talent or you do not thank, you do not get that thank, you become restless, you become violent like Job, restlessness inside. He doesn't have that peace, inner peace inside. But Jesus Christ, if you notice, whenever, wherever he went, he healed and he said, shh, don't tell any, anyone about this. He want, doesn't want it that so-called celebrity cult. He doesn't want it to be. 
he wanted to be to do work what is prescribed by his father god abba father he was doing that and that should be our motive reaching out with everyone with that same attitude like jesus had glory of god and third important point we can learn from jesus christ in the busy schedule that taking the me time with god it is very important his days were very busy yet early morning he gets up and goes to a lonely place and spend time with his father praying this abba experience is very very important if you do not have this experience you cannot work you cannot every day you working you need your battery to be charged you need that charging you need and this charging the grace of god is needed to reach out to each and every one my dear brothers and sisters now is a time to pause and examine yourself are you a busy person are you busy like jesus reaching out to each and every one do you have that inner motive that everyone should recognize me everyone should applaud me or are you a restless like job inside you are there but inside there is no peace within your within yourself there is no peace there is no joy there is no happiness let us pause and examine yourself let us arise and profess our faith together i believe in god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth and in jesus christ his only son the lord who was conceived by the holy spirit born of the virgin mary suffered under the pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into hell on the third day he rose again from the dead he ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of god the father almighty from there he will come to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the, the, of the forgiveness the of sins the resurrection of body almighty father your son jesus taught us by example the importance of prayer in every aspect of our lives and so we put forth our petitions to you our response shall be Heavenly Father hear our prayer together Heavenly Father hear our prayer that Pope Francis the bishops priests and religious may be living models of prayerful service for this we pray Heavenly, Heavenly Father hear, hear our prayer that the families of our parish and people everywhere may recognize how much we need you and the freedom and wholeness that can be found in our recourse to you for this we pray heavenly, heavenly father, father hear, hear our prayer that the leaders of governments may be blessed with the wisdom courage and commitment to serve with compassion the needs of all their citizens particularly the sick the poor and the oppressed and especially those affected by the severe pandemic that has gripped our world for this we pray heavenly, heavenly father, father hear god. our prayer we pause for a moment and pray for our personal needs and those of the community for this we pray heavenly father hear our prayer almighty father we may always be faithful to you and to be true witnesses to your eternal love grant us we beseech you our petition we make this pray through christ our lord amen kindly be seated
Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice His hand for His praise and glory His name for our good and good the Holy Church. O Lord, our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our fidelity, grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift off your heart. We lift them up. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and every way to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as a Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, fulfilling your will and gaining for holy people. He stretched out his hand as he endured his passion, and so break the bound of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with angels and all the saints we declare glory. One voice we all acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the found of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his fashion. He took the bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this. All of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup We proclaim your death, O Lord Until you come again Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly pray the parting in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Cardinal Roswell, gracious our Bishop, and all his auxiliaries and all the clergy. We pause and pray for intention. O 
where especially we pray for Gonzalo Gracia community, community number 12. We pray for all those and very especially we pray for all those who are sick in the community. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O Lord, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, his spouse, blessed apostles, and all the saints we are pleased with throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the service command and found by divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said the Apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Take away the sin of the world and mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you enter under my roof, but you say the word, and my soul shall be. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. We now make our spiritual communion with the Lord. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace, and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me, in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your Divine Will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion. Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the bread 
and one chalice. Grant us, we pray, so to live, that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And be seated. Fifth Sunday of the year, Notices for the Week. Today is the feast of St. Gonzalo Gracia, patron saint of the diocese. Today, there will be PPC and SCC coordinators joint meeting after 9.30 a.m. Holy Mass in school staff room. Today, there will be ushers meeting after 9.30 a.m. Holy Mass. Today and every first Sunday of the month, there will be Tamil Mass at 11 a.m. Admissions for Little Flower High School Junior KG 2021-2022 will start online from today till 9th February 2021. Kindly refer the notice board for further details. World Day of Sikh will be celebrated on Thursday, 11th February. There will be a special Mass for the sick and homebound at 4.30pm. Holy Childhood will be celebrated next Sunday, 14th of February. A special collection will be made at all Masses for the Holy Childhood Association. Kindly be generous. On occasion of World Marriage Day, our family cell is organizing an online session on Sunday, 14 February from 9 a.m. onwards. Those who wish to participate, kindly register with your zonal coordinators. The following are zone-wise March schedules for 13th and 14th February. Cluster 1, Zones 8, 9, 10 and 11, Saturday, 6.30 p.m. Cluster 2, Zones 12, 13, 14 and 15, Sunday, 8 a.m. Cluster 3, Zones 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20, Sunday, 9.30 a.m. Cluster 4, Zone 1, 2, 3 and 21, Sunday, 11 a.m. Cluster 5, Zones 4, 5, 6 and 7, Sunday, 6 p.m. The parish choir is looking out for singers and musicians to join the choir. Interested parishioners may contact the parish office. Wednesday, 17 February is Ash Wednesday. Details of Mass timings will be given later. Last Sunday's Mass collection was Rs 29,214. Donation and love offering received for the week is Rs 3,000. The community fund collected for the month of January is Rs 4,33,604. Collect the receipts from the parish office. Thank you for your generosity. End of the notices. Thank you. Kindly rise for final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.